quickly before I get going. If you like these videos, please can you leave a thumbs up now so you don't forget. It's free and it really helps this channel out. And secondly, if I speak too fast, because I have a habit of speaking very fast and these videos take a long time to film, so sometimes the faster the better for me. But if I go too quick for you, there is a settings button down the bottom corner of all videos and you can click on that settings button and you can change the speed to either 0.75 or 0.5 so it'll slow the video down and help you go at your pace. So to make one of the legs of the H and you're going to make two of these but I'll show you how to do one you're going to slip knot on the hook and you're going to chain 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen and sixteen and from the third chain from hook we're going to half double crochet across fourteen so from the third chain we're going to do one half double crochet and then we're going to half double crochet across in all chain spaces so we'll have fourteen half double crochets Then I'm going to chain one, cut my yarn and that is the first leg of the H. So you need to make two of these so I've already made the other leg. And now we're going to do the centre of the H so we're going to begin with our yarn again, slip knot onto hook and this time we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five and six. And from the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet four. So half double crochet four. One. One. Do two again. Two. Three. And four. Chain one, put the yarn. Now we have all the parts to make our H, our two long legs and our middle section. Obviously it won't look so messy when it's all sewn together but here is one completed. The letter I is another straightforward letter because it's made in three parts and all the parts are straight. So for the middle section, slip knot onto hook and chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. And now from the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet across 9. So 9 half double crochets from the third chain from hook. 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Chain one, cut our yarn. So this will be the centre of the eye. So now we're going to make the top and bottom and they're both made the same way. So you just need to make two of these. So you're going to slip knot onto hook and you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet six. One, two, three, four, 
five and six. Cut our yarn, chain one, cut our yarn. And there is one of the tops of the eye. So I'm going to make a second one and then I'll show you it complete. So when you have all the parts of your eye, you're going to sew them together and you'll end up with this. So let's move straight on to J. So we'll do the curve of our J first. So we're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Now into the third chain from hook, we're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the following stitch or the following chain we're going to do two half double crochets into that one space one and two then we're going to half double crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the chain after that and then into the following chain two half double crochets one and two and we have ten chains remaining and we're going to half double crochet into all ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten chain one and cut our yarn to make the top of our J slip knot onto a hook and chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and from the second well sorry from the third chain from hook we're going to half double crochet eight. So into the third chain from hook and onwards we're going to half double crochet eight. Three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Fasten off. And that will make the top of your J. And if I bring in one that's already been made, I love the difference between the um, blocked letters and the non blocked letters. They're just so much neater once they've been sewn together. But by not sewing them together on camera, every single letter, I'm going to save myself and you a lot of time. For our kicking K, we're going to begin with the kicking legs first. So, slip knot onto hook and chain 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 and from the third chain from hook we're going to half double crochet seven stitches so starting from the third chain Let's half double crochet seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Into the next chain, we're going to do three half double crochets all into that one space. So three half double crochets. One, two and three that leaves us with seven chains and now we're going to half double crochet into all of these seven chains so another half seven half double crochets one 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one and cut the yarn. So we have our kicking legs. Now we need the backbone to our K. So this is nice and simple. It's just a straight line, slip knot onto hook, and chain 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And then from the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet across 14. So 14 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Fasten off. And this is how we will sew the pieces together. And here's one I made earlier. For the letter L, Slip knot onto hook and chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. From the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet 12 stitches. So beginning with the third chain, half double crochet 12. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12. Into the next chain we're going to do four half double crochets into that one chain space. Four half double crochets. One, two, three and four. This leaves five chains and we're going to half double crochet into each chain. Five half double crochets. One, two, Three, four and five. Fast enough. And the L needs no sewing, just needs the ends weaved in. Always a good letter when you don't have to do any sewing. The letter M has a long chain, so we're going to begin with a slip knot onto hook, and now we're going to chain 57 because it's made in one piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-six, from the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet 13. From the third chain from hook, half double crochet 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12 and 13. In the next chain we're going to do five half double crochets into that one space. Five half double crochets into one space. One, two, three, four and five. Next we're going to half double crochet in the next 11 chains. 11 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven. Now we're going to single crochet five chains together. So we're not doing half double crochet, we're doing single crochet five chains together. To do that, insert our hook into chain one, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert our hook into chain two, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert our hook into chain three, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert our hook into chain four, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then insert our hook into chain five, yarn over and pull up a loop. So there are six loops on my hook. And then finally, yarn over and pull through all five chains. So we have single crocheted five stitches together. And now we're going to continue by half double crocheting 11. 11 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven. In the next chain we're going to do five half double crochets again all into one space. Five half double crochets. One, two, three, four and five. We now have thirteen chains remaining and we're going to half double crochet into all chains. 13 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we can fasten off and mould our letter into shape. So the five single crochets together is the very centre and bottom of the M and when we did the five half double crochets into one stitch they're the two points. There is the M, and here is a pressed M. For the letter N, we're going to slip knot and chain 47. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-four. 44, 45, 46 and 47 and into the third chain or from the third chain from hook we're going to half double crochet 13 from the third chain so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Now we're going to single crochet five stitches together just like we did with the letter M. So single crochet five stitches together. In case you skipped ahead to this letter, I'll show you how to do that. So insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the fourth, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then insert your hook into the fifth, yarn over and pull up a loop. So there are six stitches or six loops on my hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all and that is how you single crochet five stitches together and continuing with the letter N we're now going to half double crochet in the next 13 chains so another 13 half double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen now we're going to do five half double crochets all into the next space one two, three, four and five and we have 13 chains remaining so I'm going to half double crochet into each chain. 13 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and thirteen. Fasten off. And there is the finished ends. Letter O begins with a slip knot and a chain of thirty-two. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And thirty two. And from the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet eleven stitches. Half double crochet eleven. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now into each of the next four chains, we're going to do two half double crochets into each chain. So we're going to do four increases. One and two half double crochets into the first. One and two half double crochets into the second. One and two half double crochets into the third. one and two half double crochets into the third now sorry into the fourth now we're going to half double crochet 11 half double crochet 11 stitches one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven and that leaves a remainder of four chains and we're going to do an increase into every one of these chains so we're going to do two half double crochets into each of these chains one and two into the first one and two into the second one and two into the third one and two into the fourth and then we can fasten off and all we have to do is sew the two ends together to complete the zero well the O for the letter P slip knot onto hook and chain 22 one two three one and 22 and from the third chain from hook we're going to do two half double crochets into seven chains two half double crochet into seven chains one and two into the first chain one and two into the second one and two into the third one and two into the fourth one and two into the fifth one and two into the sixth one and two into the seventh after the seven increased stitches in the next chain so the eighth chain we're going to do four half double crochets into that one chain space one, two, three and four and now we have 12 chains remaining and we're just going to half double crochet into each chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve and then we can fasten off and we've only got one stitch to do here to join the P into shape And as always, here is one that I made earlier. For the letter Q, the base part is exactly the same as the letter O that we made earlier. So go and make the letter O. And then the only thing extra we need to make is this line. So I won't show you how to remake this again. Just go and look at two stitches previous where we do the letter O. And now I'll show you how to do this little dash. So if I move these to the side, bring in my yarn and I'm going to slip knot and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And into the third chain from hook, we're going to half double crochet across six. One, two, three, four, five and six fasten off and we have the leg of our queue 